welcome back so now we'll be doing covering the entire respiratory system and it mainly includes two topics that is cough as well as we'll be discussing on the bronchial asthma asthma so firstly let's start about cough so here under cough there are many categories such as pharyngeal demulsions as well as there is expectorants and there are antitussives and there are adjuvant antitussives so now going to the pharyngeal demulsions under pharyngeal demulsions there is lozenges syrups viserine and liquor rice you can write this a multiple times and it is going to stick with you next we also have expectorants under expectorants we have the secretory enhancers the whatever increases the secretion under this there is potassium citrate potassium iodide guanfenesin there is tolubalsam there is wasaka as well as ammonium chloride so while giving the examination we need to know each and every drug and we need to know which category it falls so it becomes important in that aspect as we saw this expectorants has increased secretion there is another category category known as mucolytics so under this category of mucolytics there is bromhexine and there is ambrexol there is acetylcysteine and there is carbocysteine so now moving ahead we will be looking at the other category that was antitussives and antitussives they are further divided into opioids under this opioids there is codeine ethyl morphine as well as folcodeine now i'm moving on to the second category you have the non opioids under the non opioids there is noscaffeine there is dextromethorphan and there is promethazine now moving on this is not promethazine it is clo 
fed dnr now moving ahead to the third category there is antihistamines antihistaminics under this there is chlor phenyramine di phenhydramine and there is pro methazine okay and last we have another category this is known as the pulmonary receptor d sensitizer under this there is perinox diazine okay now moving ahead we'll be looking at another category that is adjuvant antitussers under adjuvant antitussers there is bronchodilators so this category includes salbutamol as well as terbutalin okay so we are done with cough so now let me just give an outline of what we have covered so basically cough the categories are this pharyngeal d mal sense okay the second one being expectorants the third category being antitussers and then we have the fourth category that is known as adjuvant antitussers so these are the three let me name it three and this is four so under this there are several categories like expectorants there is which increases secretion secretion enhances as well as second category which acts as mucolytics in a similar way these antitussers are also divided so here we have a class of opioids antitussers and non opioids next there is antihistaminics and last we have the pulmonary receptor d sensitizer okay hopefully everything is clear now as we have done with cough we'll be moving ahead and after cough we have we'll be discussing as told earlier this will be on the bronchial asthma I'm writing short as ba so here there are again we'll be just going back and looking at the skeleton of what we are going to learn first one being under this there is bronchodilators second one being there is leukotriene train antagonist second third there is muscle stabilizers
fourth there is corticosteroids and the last class is anti ige antibody let's we'll just read it out again so we have told bronchodilators this leukotriene antagonist this mast cell stabilizers this corticosteroids and last we have the anti ige antibody now just looking at each one of them in under bronchodilators there is let me just write it again the bronchodilators we'll be discussing that under the bronchodilators there is beta 2 sim petho mimetics okay so this is the one first one and under sympathomimetics there is sal butamol the stobutalin there is bambuterol also salmeterol and fomoterol okay now moving on to the second under this there is also methylxanthine under methylxanthine there is theophylline aminophylline Scholine, theophylinate, hydroxyethyl theophylinate, and doxycycline, doxophylline. Theophylline, aminophylline, theophylline, aminophylline, choline, theophylline, choline theophylinate, then hydroxy ethyl theophylinate, and then doxyphylline. Next category, there is anticholinergics. Under anticholinergics, there is ipratropium bromide, next there is also thiotropium bromide, okay. Now moving ahead to another class, there is under the broad heading, there is leuco leukotriene antagonist under this there is Monte Lucast and Zaphir Lucast Zaphir Lucast now moving on to another category there is muscle stabilizers writing short as MCS okay muscle stabilizers under this there is sodium chromoglycate as well as ketotifen okay now moving ahead other class it is corticosteroids Corticosteroids, there is systemic and under systemic, there is 
हाइड्रो कॉटिसोन रेडनेसोलॉन एंड अदर ग्लूकोकॉटिकॉइड्स नेक्स्ट अदर कैटेगरी अंडर कॉर्टिकोस्टेरॉइड इज इनहेलेशनल अंडर दिस इनहेलेशनल कैटेगरी एग्जाम्पल्स इंक्लूड बेक्लो मेथसोन डाई प्रोप्योनेट बुडिसोनाइड दस फ्रूटिकसोन प्रोप्योनेट फ्लनी सोलाइड एंड साइकिल सोलाइड Yes, so you might be wondering how to remember these names. Uh, writing it multiple times will uh, help you memorize it. You can write it, practice writing it once, and maybe after two hours you can just come back and write it again. So you need to keep repeating the cycle until you are familiarized with all these words. I have written it multiple times, and that's why I can read it and um, write it fast. So now that is done with the inhalational corticosteroids and next the last is the anti ige in this group anti ige antibody and under this there is o omalizumab o mali zumab i'll write it again it is o mali zumab so yes that's it thank you for watching and i will try to cover the entire chapter and listing all the drugs in that so today we are done with the respiratory system and or i may also go ahead with the respiratory tract you about the pathology involved in the rs i guess that would be a better idea to move ahead with and thank you once again for watching and if you want to stick around with the videos i put or do subscribe if you do that you can you will be notified about the new videos Okay thank you once again